Welcome back guys. We're here inside of Bedrock Bowling Outfitters and I wanted to talk about ball maintenance. Uh, we see a lot of uh, oil absorption that we see with bowling balls nowadays and what's really important is that these ball, what's really important is to keep our ball clean, kind of like you would uh, change your oil or rotate your tires. We have the same type of maintenance in the bowling industry and we find that even putting you know, 10 games on a bowling ball can make the cover stock look a lot different than it did when it was out of the box and it gave you that real crispy look on the lane, gave you that real reaction that you wanted. You know, with the Collar Scratch Bowlers Tour, uh, Terry Wickstrom is putting out some tougher patterns for us to bowl on, really challenging the bowlers. And a lot of times what you see with those tougher patterns, you see some short patterns, you see some long patterns, and what happens is we put a lot of traffic on our bowling balls. And what's important is to maintain those bowling balls so that they give you the true reaction that you're looking for day in and day out. I want to talk a little bit about some products that uh, powerhouses come out with that uh, are just great. They're, they're awesome in the industry. We, we believe in them. Uh, I try to make sure that we, we train our customers that when they come into the shop to take care of their, their bowling ball properly, whether it's a $119 reactive ball or $209 high performance ball. Um, what we have in front of us is a, a couple of taboo pearls. And these bowling balls are actually finished at 3000 grit. It's actually a pearlized cover stock, uh, of course, housed with the best core uh, in the industry, in my opinion. Um, so you can see the taboo blue silver with, I'd say, maybe about 30 games on it. This is actually the ball that I used in the uh, last event that we had at the uh, Broadway stop and uh, bowled a lot of games. Uh, I was lucky enough to make the finals and make the uh, first uh, TV show that we had here at ColoradoSports.tv. Um, so you can see that we put a lot of traffic on the cover stock. You can really see where the, the bowling ball starts to actually get shiny and that isn't because I polished it, that's because the bowling ball's got some traffic on it. This is actually a taboo blue silver that's never been drilled out of the box. <clears throat> and you can really see the difference of the cover stock between a ball that has no games on it and you know, a ball that actually has maybe 40, 50, 60 games on it. What I want to talk about is a couple of cleaners that you'd want to use for your dull surface bowling balls. Number one is going to be the powerhouse product called the Clean and Dull. What's really great about this is it's easier to remember if you're a bowler who actually has multiple bowling balls in your bag, you can remember that the dull cleaner is going to be for our dull surfaces. Now, what we find is that this goes a long way. If you're a bowler bowling just uh, maybe three games a week, you're bowling in just one league, this really truly should last you an entire bowling season. We want to make sure that we don't use too much at a time. Um, I find that applying probably a nickel to a dime size amount on our microfiber towel is a great start and then applying it from there because it spreads. It is a gel form. Um, again, we should be doing this every time we get done practicing. We should be doing this every time we come off the lanes and that way uh, we, we don't give the oil as much of a chance to set up in the cover stop. Uh, if, if you're cleaning your bowling ball the next day, Sure, you're, you're taking the time to clean it, but we want to have you hone in on cleaning it right after we get done bowling. I'm just going to demonstrate um, how we like to clean the ball, and that way uh, you guys can start taking care of your equipment as well. So you know, everybody's going to have their own style. I've seen people put it on their hands, although I wouldn't advise that. We've got the microfiber cloth, which I feel are important. These microfiber towels are great. They actually help pull the oil off of the ball. I like to actually apply a little bit of elbow grease or we're really getting into the core, I'm sorry, getting into the cover stock. And you can already see just in that area, <clears throat> well that cleaner is going away really fast. And that cleaner is working right away. We can also already hear the difference of the, how the ball sounds just rubbing my hand across it. New ball, old ball. And you can already see the difference of how the ball looks just by cleaning the ball. Now, this doesn't mean that you won't have to bring the bowling ball into our pro shop every 50 games and have it resurfaced because we want to keep it looking as much out of box as we possibly can. We use in the industry Abrilon pads, and those Abrilon pads is what's used to manufacture the product in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. So we'll actually bring the ball in, take it back to its box finish, or make any other adjustments depending on what kind of condition that you're going to be going to. So now I want to talk to you a little bit about um, the power wash product and <clears throat> the power wash product is going to be for all of our bowling balls that have a shinier finish pearlized or factory finish polish and what we're doing is we're trying to keep those balls as much out of box as we possibly can so using that power wash <clears throat> excuse me is going to help maintain that that proper out of box finish 
Again, not to use too much at a time. A couple of squirts does go a long way. With the power wash, you have a couple of options. It's obviously, it's a spray. We can spray a couple of squirts actually on the towel. And again, using that elbow grease, you can really see it start to, to burn into the ball. If you feel like you need to apply a little bit more after that, you can. And you can already see that tackiness start to come back to the bowling ball just by taking a couple of minutes to protect your investment on these high-performance bowling balls that we have. We have another product that I'd like to talk to you about that you might be really excited to hear about from Powerhouse. It's called the new Powerhouse Adrenaline Wipes. Now, this product is, in my opinion, awesome. We just got these in uh, about a week, week and a half ago, and we're almost sold out of them already. We can't keep them on the shelf. And one reason is they're approved during competition. These cleaners, to understand, are good for before or after use. This is the adrenaline wipe, or the ball steroid that we like to call it in the industry, that you can use during competition. Uh, say you're bowling in your uh, favorite sport league or your favorite league condition, and maybe you're starting to see your bowling ball uh, start to get down the lane a little bit too far. You like the motion. You want to stick with that ball. Guess what? I'm going to pull out my adrenaline wipe. It comes in a quantity of 10, and after you use it once, don't throw it away. Definitely put it back in the pack. You can use this one on at least several bowling balls at a time, depending on how dirty they are. It opens up like a napkin. This is just opening it up the one way. It actually opens up even a little bit further as well. You'll notice it's going to be smooth on one side and grittier on the other side. So I just kind of take it. I have used it with the microfiber on top, not to get too much of the oils in my hands while you're bowling, that can give me the, you know, the wrong release, but I definitely don't want to stick in the fingers and thumb. For the purpose of what we're doing here, I'll just put it on my hand. And what we're doing, just going to wipe the entire ball. And you can see how, how powerful that is and how quick that goes away. We're just going to use this on the entire bowling ball. Again, we're starting to see our ball going on the lane a little bit too far. What we're trying to do is get some of the immediate oil off of the cover stock where it starts to feel slimy and just trying to get it back to how it was in practice or in first game. And see, it actually will take off some of those belt marks that you get from the bar turns as well. I do advise, you can also see the dirt coming off the ball right away. And this stuff is great. This is no gimmick. I grab my microfiber towel just to kind of help dry it off. Make sure I got it all off there. And you can see the bowling ball is going to be back to its box finish. This product is available here at Bedrock Bowling Outfitters for $14.99. It's a great product. Again, it's, do, it's, it's used during competition. Um, the biggest thing is maintain your equipment, protect your investment. Uh, you know, the, equipment's, the equipment is, is never going to get back to its original condition, but the longer you can maintain your product, the longer it's going to last you. Thanks for chiming in. We'll see you next time.